I am Mayesh. This presentation is on service function chain demo by Huawei India team. Overview of the presentation, demo topology, creating ports, creating port pair, creating port pair group, creating flow classifier, scenario 1, creating port chain, uh, demo scenario 2, demo scenario 3. A demo topology. Uh, VM1 is considered as a source and VM4 is considered as a destination and uh, VM2 is considered as a SF1 and VM3 is considered as a SF2 and these SF1 and SF2 are coming under service function chain. Uh, we are going to run firewall in VM2 as well as in VM3. In this firewall it will take a packet from ingress, ingress port and it will forward to the egress port in VM3 also same thing it will take a packet from ingress port and forward to aggress port and if it uh, we will see later and uh, if it means um, if uh, packets come from 20.1.1.9 this firewall will drop the packet before before installing the SFC if we ping from VM1 to VM4 the packet will directly go from VM1 to VM4 and response will come back from VM4 to VM1. After installing the service function chain, the packet, if you ping from VM1 to VM4, the packet will go from VM1 to VM2, then it will go to VM2 to VM3, then it will go to VM3 to VM4 and response will come back to the VM1. This is the this packet the packet moving from vm2 vm2 VM to vm3 it is a, uh, so it is a due to uh, firewall we are running and uh, plural creating the port ports are already created in the neutron uh, i have created uh, seven ports p1 p1 p p1 to p7 and based on the ports i have created the uh, virtual machine uh, virtual machines also vm1 to vm5 and uh, we can s we can see the topology network topology this is the network topology these are the v these are the v vms and this is the network and it is the it is uh, connected to the router and this is the public interface and uh, now i am going to create a port pair Initially, port pairs are empty in the bonus. I have created the port pair in the neutron first, and that we can see in the bonus. Now, port pair group is empty. Okay, now, uh I am going to create a another port pair. We can see two po port pairs here. And uh, no port pair groups. Empty initially. And uh, I am going to create two port pair groups at one shot in neutron. And same thing we can see in the owners. And port pair group is creation done. And now I am going to create a flow classifier. flow classifier is empty initially now 
now i am going to create a flow classifier in the new neutron same thing we can see in bonus before creating the port <coughs> before creating the port chain uh, we will see the normal behavior how it works like uh, if you ping from vm1 to vm4 the packet it has to directly go to the vm4 from vm1 and response also has to come back uh this is a uh, vm1 this is this this is the source we are considering we will uh, ping from vm1 to vm4 this is the vm4 is the destination and here vm2 will consider as a sf1 service function 1 and this is the ingress this is the service function 1 service function 1 aggress port and this is the service function 2 ingress of our uh, virtual machine 3 and uh, this is service function 2 aggress this is these are the tcp dump we can see the how it flows now i am running the firewall i am pinging from <coughs> vm1 uh, vm1 to vm4 this uh, 220.1.1.8 is the vm4 ip address we can see here uh, vm1 to vm4 i the ping is working here we are in vm2 and vm3 we are not seeing any packets here here flow is happening this is vm1 source this is directly vm4 is the desti destination i am going to stop this and uh, now this scenario yeah we have one to we have four directly it, it has gone packets now i am going to create a port chain initially port chain is empty and bonus i created the port chain in the neutron we can see same thing in the bonus Installing, creating port chain means it will install a service function chain in the OS. Sorry, in OBS. And uh, if you, if you now, if you ping from VM one to VM four, the packet will go from VM one to VM two, and VM two to VM three, and VM three to VM four. Yes. Now we can see this. This is the VM one is the source. Then packet is going to the VM two, and uh, and also. we am to ingress to aggress it is go going then it will coming in the coming to em3 ingress then it will go to em3 aggress and finally it will come to the vm4 destination and also reply will go back <coughs> and we can see here uh, packets going in the firewall here also we can see the firewall packets i am stopping the zone and here zero packet loss also we can see here no th this demo in this demo scenario in this demo scenario uh in fire in firewall we have 
if any packets coming from the 20.1.1.9 IP address, it will drop the packet. So now we are going to uh, uh, going to ping from VM VM5 to VM4. Then anyhow, based on the service function chain, it it will reach VM2. So we if firewall, it will drop the packet. That demo we, we can see now. This is uh, 20.1.1.9. I am pinging to 20.1.1.8. Now you can see uh, this is the VM5. This is the source. And actually, destination is this one VM4, but packets are do dropping in the VM uh, VM2. That is service function one, one, and uh, in ingress also th there is no packets and other other uh, uh, sorry SF2 uh, ingress and SF2 egress also there is no packets, and uh, in firewall in firewall also you can see the dropping the packet here, so here nothing is there, so here we can see the dropping the packet. Now I am going to stop. Now I am going to delete the fun service function chain. Means uh, I am going to delete the port chain. When you ping from VM5 to VM4, now normal behavior has to be has to happen. Yes. Uh, now VM source, uh, we are pinging from VM5 to VM4. This is the normal behave is hap happening. Uh, thank you.